Good morning, almost first graders. You guys have been in school for so long and you are so smart now. You are almost ready for first grade. Today, we are gonna be working with two dimensional shapes. We've already done three dimensional. Those are shapes that have volume. That was a sphere, a pyramid, a rectangular prism, a cone, a cylinder. Today, we're gonna to work with two dimensional flat shapes, things like squares, triangles, circles, and other different kinds of shapes. So I'm on page 147 in the workbook today. You are gonna have page 145 where you cut out all the shapes first. And then our first category is a triangle. If you already watched the video about two-dimensional shapes, you know a triangle has three sides. And I see a pink triangle with three sides, and I'm going to glue it to the top category. It says triangle. I've already put my glue on it, and I have two more triangles. I have a skinny orange triangle. Even if this the shape and size is different. If it has three sides, it will always be a triangle. Our last triangle is green. And if I turn it this way, it's still a triangle. If I turn it upside down, it's still a triangle because it has three sides. And I'm going to glue it right there. And I have one, two, three triangles. Our next group is circles. And I know a circle has one round line all the way around. I'm gonna get some more glue. I'm gonna put it on my workbook page. And I see a large green circle. And I see a small pink circle. I have two circles in my circle group. Our next category is a square. A square has four sides that are all the same length. So I see this one. And you might say, wait a minute, Miss Stewart, that's a diamond or a rhombus, but it's just turned a different way. If I turn the square this way, it has four sides and they're all the same length. They are all equal and that makes it a square. Oh, I forgot to add glue. I'm trying to stick a paper with no glue on. We'll add some more glue and we'll put our square on that line. And I see a small pink square. I see four sides that are all the same size in length and that makes it a square. Our next category is called a non-square rectangle. And that means that a shape has four sides, like a door, but the lengths are different. So if you think of like a box or a door or a window even, that could be a rectangle shape. I'm gonna add my glue this time. And I see a skinny pink rectangle. I see one, two, three, four sides, but they're different lengths. I see two long sides and two short sides. And that is what makes it a rectangle. This one is close, but they're not equal. So it's gonna go in the rectangle category. Now our very last category at the bottom is for other shapes. And other shapes could be maybe a heart or a star. Let's take a look at the shapes that we have left and see if they fit that. This one is kind of a wonky shape. It's kind of like two triangles melted together, but it has more than three sides, so it can't be a triangle. It has more than four sides, so it can't be a rectangle. We're gonna put it in other shapes. I also see a shape that has six sides. This is called a hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. That's a new vocabulary word. And our last shape looks like half of a circle or maybe a moon. And it has one round side and one flat side, right? So our we had three triangles. We had two circles, two squares, two rectangles, and two or three other shapes. Good job. We're going to keep doing some practice with two-dimensional shapes. I will see you next time. Everybody do a great job.
I know you will.